Here's how you can make this glitch text effect super fast and easy in Kittle. So I've got my Kittle project here open. I'm going to change my background color to black. Then I'm going to hit T to add some text. For my text, I went with Babis New, just a condensed sans serif font. I think that sans serif fonts look really good with this text effect. They're just a little bit cleaner, a little bit more modern, maybe a little techy that help play into that glitch vibe a little bit more than a serif font would. I'd be interested to see what this looks like with a serif font. If you do that, let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to go into my effects and click this effect here, turn the offset down and then change the color to white and turn the blur up. Then I'm going to go into my layers panel and select this, copy and paste this twice by hitting command C, command V. I'm going to grab my bottom layer here and change the text color to red as well as the blur color to red. Then I'm going to change my second layer color to a nice light blue up here in the top right as well as my blur color to that same blue. I can change that in my document colors so I make sure they're the same. In my transformation effects, I'm gonna click this distort and pull the right corner up on the red layer. I'm gonna pull the left corner down. As you can see, our glitch effect is starting to come together here. The only thing it needs now is some texture. I chose this texture right here on an overlay blending mode at about 80% opacity. It's catching a little bit too much of the background color, so I'm going to turn that background color just a little bit darker, and this is your finished glitch effect. Another good tip for this one, try to play with the amount of blur that you put on these text layers, and also when it comes to texture, these textures play a huge role in giving you that kind of staticky, grungy look. So for this one, I just went into the photos panel, which is connected to Unsplash for us, and typed in texture and found just like scratchy kind of looking background texture and added that to my design, put it on an overlay blending mode, and it took my design from this to this. You can see how much the texture likes to interact with the opacity in the blur to kind of create this ink bleedy, grungy, staticky feel that just really brings your design to life. I hope this tutorial was easy and helpful for you. Go have fun with this. Go try this out on your own with your own designs. Make something cool. Let us know what you make in the comments down below. If you're not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications to be notified when you get more tips and tricks for design just like this one. Like this video and as always happy designing.